No, Marcus Rashford and not much cutting edge for Manchester United, but they do get a 2-0 win over Wolves to stay on track for top four, and they can get excited over Alejandro yeah. Garnacho. That was the best part of the game. Uh, yeah, he's by one lovely goal he scored as well. I mean, thanks for, thankfully for him scoring because there was better options probably than the one he took, but he scored, so uh, that's fine. It's good to see him back on the score sheets as well, and he's not going to go to the Under-20 World Cup in Argentina. We know that because Manchester United didn't want to release him like many other players all around the world, which I struggle to understand. But then that competition should be in FIFA, in the FIFA dates, not outside of dates, so clubs can still do what they want with their players. Uh, but it's a win. We will not really remember that game for a very long time. All they care about was the win, and that's it. Do you know that Marcus Rashford has scored as many league goals as United's next three top Together. scorers combined? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's that, it's that, that dependent on him. But well done for my boy, Anthony Martial. Uh, for the goal as well. In the championship, Gabby, Sunderland beat Luton 2-1 in the playoff first some sort of semi-final first leg. And I know it's not your thing, but I'll ask you about Ahmad Diallo Traore, who scored in that game. Reports suggest that he will be back at Old Trafford next year. He's been on loan to Sunderland and has done amazingly well. One of the best players in the championship this uh, Yeah, as I understand, he scored a bunch of goals. Um, and it's interesting because when you look at kind of how like the core of wingers is likely to shape up at Manchester United next season, right? Uh, you've got Anthony, you've got Sancho, you've got Garnacho, I think they're going to yeah. want to get more minutes to. Yeah. And you have Rashford, who I'm assuming you don't want to play at center forward. Yeah, you so want to have him coming for the win, right? Yeah. So those are four guys who on paper are going to be ahead of them. Um, so I wonder what the right choice, and that's before we get into a Langa, who I'm assuming they can move on, yeah. uh, if, if they like Diallo more. I do wonder what is his development going to be like. Is he is he going to move inside, which is a position he's played before? Yeah. Um, not at center forward, but in attacking midfield. Second striker or something. He's still yeah, very maybe. young, maybe to do that. Um, if Sunderland are promoted, leave him at, leave him on loan at Sunderland for another season in the Premier League. He will play. He will start every game. He will get used to it. He will learn a lot. They have something really good. Tony Mowbray is a really good, like, experienced coach. And that would be better than staying on the bench at United and play with the reserve now and again. You know, I am totally pro loan, and I would totally but, agree with that. But, but there's this perception that oh, but if you send players on loan, you know, you lose sight of them and blah blah blah. Oh, like so I you said, would it wouldn't apply here. What? what would you do then? You're not going to keep him on the bench at United if he doesn't play. Yeah, I'd, like, if it were up to me, I'd send Sancho on loan and be like, hey, come back when you're good. Come back when you go oh, back. So to Sancho is good, on, is good enough for the loan, but not Ahmad. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying it would never happen. No, but I, I do wonder about the priorities. Right? So Anthony's going to be there because whatever, yeah, right? No, for sure. That's fine. And on the other wing, I got Rashford. I, I'm just, I, I am wondering if I like Garnacho so much. I, I guess one of those two, Garnacho or Diallo, has to go on loan, and it's more likely to be Diallo because he already has a home and a manager if Sunderland come up. Yeah. The question is, if Sunderland do not come up, do, leave, do you leave Diallo there another season, or do you no, find I him a club in the Premier League yeah, with all the uncertainty yeah, that comes with yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have to aim for the Premier League now, fine. That's the main talking point to me. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.